Welcome to a Siler Instrument Mapping Support video. My name is Joe Madai, Mapping Technical Support for Siler Instrument, and today we will be pairing the Trimble R2 GNSS receiver with an Android device. So for our agenda today, we will be enabling the developer options on our Android device, turning on our Trimble R2 device, and pairing our Android device with the Trimble R2, and then finally, we're going to connect the Trimble R2 to the GNSS status application. Now I'm going to show you how to enable developer mode on an Android phone. And the reason we need to do this is to allow mock locations so that the R2 will overwrite the internal GPS on the phone. Uh, so to do that, we are going to go into settings and then we are going to scroll all the way down to about phone and then we're going to scroll down a little bit further and go to build number and we're going to tap on build number seven times and now you will see that developer mode has been turned on I'm going to hit the back arrow in the upper left hand corner and you will see that it has taken me back to the settings screen you'll see that developer options is now been activated. I can now go into developer options and turn developer options on. I can now scroll down a little bit and check the check mark that will allow mock locations. And this will allow the R2 to overwrite the internal GPS on the Android phone. And this only needs to be done on Android devices. Next we will be turning on our Trimble R2 receiver. As I've pointed here, the button on the front, all we need to do is press the button on until the light turns on. After the light turns on, you will see the light flash and then turn green, which means we are ready to connect to our external device. Now that we've successfully turned on our R2 GNSS receiver, the next step is to pair the R2 to our Android device. And to do that, I'm going to go into my Bluetooth settings and we are going to hit the scan button down at the bottom. And what that scan button is going to, going to allow us to do is to search for Bluetooth devices that are in our vicinity. So I scroll down to the bottom and I want to look for the serial number that is on the bottom of my R2. As you can see, I have two R2s that are there, and I want the first one with the last four of 1215. So I select that one, and it's going to tell me that we are pairing. We now scroll back up to the top, and we now see that we are successfully paired to the Trimble R2 device with the serial number ending in 1215. Now that we've successfully paired our Android device via Bluetooth to our R2, we want to connect our device using the GNSS Status app. This GNSS Status app is an application that is placed out on the Google Play Store by Trimble. It is a free app that will allow us to apply corrections to our R2 and then also be able to see our accuracy while in the field. I already have my GNSS Status application pulled up and as you can see I am not receiving any data from my receiver so I actually want to connect to my R2. I'm going to select where it says select new receiver down at the bottom and you will then see that my R2 is listed at the top which is the one with the serial number ending in 1215. I'm going to highlight that serial number and hit the plug so that way you will see that it is connecting. And it might take a little bit of time, but you can now see that we are connected to my R2. It is giving me the accuracies, and I can see if I am connected to any real-time source. As you can see, I am connected to the MoDOT VRS, and my accuracies are dropping. So this is how you can successfully pair your R2 to an Android device using the GNSS status application. Thank you for watching our mapping technical support video. 
please check out our blog at mapsupport.silerinst.com for further tips and technical support notes. Once again, thank you again for watching our video.